In this video, we'll see how we can use SOLIDWORKS Electrical to design electrical systems with speed, ease and accuracy. We begin by creating a line diagram. This mode is optional, we don't have to use it, but it's a great tool for planning and giving an overview of your electrical design. We can add pictorial symbols to our sheet. At the point we place the symbol down, a component is added into our design and automatically given a unique mark. We can also connect cables between the components and if need be, define point-to-point -point connections. Moving into the schematic tool, we are looking to create a motor circuit, like seen above. We could copy and paste the circuit here, but we'll start from scratch. I'll draw my wires and insert my motor symbol. I associate it to the motor that I placed in the line diagram. As far as SOLIDWORKS Electrical is concerned, we now have two representations of the motor M5. One in the line diagram and one in the schematic. It's also possible to define a real life manufacturer part. SOLIDWORKS Electrical comes equipped with hundreds of electrical parts from various manufacturers to choose from. Better still, if the part you want isn't in your database, then you can download additional parts from the SOLIDWORKS Electrical Content Portal, an online repository of millions of parts. It's also possible to create your own parts too. We can use filters to find the part we want to use. When selecting a manufacturer part, we are given visual feedback to validate the circuit information in the manufacturer part matches up with the symbol we've used to represent it. We'll add in the circuit breaker, contactor and terminal strip. We can view the terminal strip in a tabular view and replace the wires connecting the motor with a cable. Circuit designs can be reused. Just save the circuit as a macro and it will be ready to drag and drop into any project. Origin destination arrows allow you to connect wires quickly and easily across sheets. Hyperlinks are generated so we can follow the wires through our project. Here we have a PLC. We have a dedicated PLC tool that allows us to insert the circuits of a PLC across multiple pages within our project. We'll add in the unused circuits from PLC N1 on this sheet. Wire numbering can be done at the click of a button. We can use formula to drive the naming convention of each wire type. This can be a simple prefix and a counter or much more complicated. If we want to plan our electrical cabinet, we can use the 2D cabinet layout tool. This will represent our components in an electrical cabinet and ensure we have enough space for our components, rails and ducts. To take this a step further, we can also plan our electrical cabinet in 3D using the SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D add-in. We can place the components from our project into our design quickly and easily. Given that we have already defined how the components connect to each other in the schematic tool, it's possible to route our wires in 3D in a few clicks. Routing our wires in the 3D allows us to calculate accurate lengths and duct filling ratios. We can represent wire lists, bills of materials and cable core lists in the forms of automatically generated reports and publish our project to industry standard formats. To summarize, we can create intelligent line diagrams and schematics. We have a comprehensive symbols library we have hundreds of manufacturers' parts installed with the software, but millions more can be downloaded from the SOLIDWORKS electrical content portal. We have dedicated PLC and connector tools, 
and we can do automatic wire numbering. 2D cabinet layouts allow us to plan our cabinet and we have SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D to plan our cabinet and route our wires. We have comprehensive reports, so wire lists, cable lists and bills and materials. And we can output our project to industry standard formats. Thank you for watching.